What's up guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care as we're in a slightly um, unfamiliar region I expect for most audience members. We are still in the Akal region, just down in the southernmost point that we have. And as you can see, everything is marked with all of the Koroks in the region. This is the final corner of Hyrule that we've ever done that hasn't got all the Korok seeds in it. And as per usual, we're going to go from south to north and make our way through. Just a nice, hopefully somewhat quick, Korok montage. So, southernmost point now is this clump of trees just north of the Zora hood thing. See you over there. What you need to do is you need to climb the tallest pine and examine the core. It's, it's that one there. Examine the fairy lights at the top of that. Typical that it shows up while I'm raining. I have the worst luck with these Korok videos, I swear. Oh my god. Even with my extra stamina, it just would not. <sighs> this damn rain. Are you serious? Oh my god, are you serious? Rivali's Gale freaking stamina up there. No. Oh my god, I... And it's gone. Oh, thank you. Good lord. Anyway, next up we're going northwest of here. Now here you'll see a big rock surrounded by little rocks, and we want to move this rock out of the way, because it's a little suspicious. And then your Korok's underneath. Next up we're going east to the peak of this tiny little mound southeast of the Ulria Grotto. Alright, and even though there are some very suspicious boulders down there, that's not what we need to deal with. There are some invisible fairy lights up here that we need to collect. Right, next we're going northwest, just the Yuku to the Yukuku Plains. This foliage, sure, whatever. <laughs> right, here we are, and overlooking the forest is a little pinwheel. That'll give us another archery test, that's what I call them. Well, wow, that might be a little tricky. Yeah! Okay. And third balloon is hidden somewhere. Oh yeah! Look at that! Behind the tree and everything. Right, next we're gonna go to this... Oh, it's a tree puzzle just north of the Ulria Grotto. Right, here we are, and it is a very simple tree puzzle. Nice. Next we're going to the far west, to the west... Sokalas Bridge. Here we are at said bridge, and all we need to do is simply go underneath it. Where there's a rock underneath. On the eastern side of it. Right, at this point we're going to do west to eastern slices along the area. So now we're going to the next bridge, west of the Akala Parade Ground Ruins. Right here is the bridge, and just like last time, we need to be underneath it because there is a slab core here. Is that what I'm going to call it? It's hidden underneath a slab. Bada bing! Next, we're heading just a little bit northeast to the peak of this mound here. And up here is a rock formation. And a. Yiga. Man. The rock is just a little bit north by some dead guardian. Next up, we're going a little bit east again to this next, or east of the South Akala Plains, that makes sense, by this row of trees. Uh, something feels wrong about that bit of the climbing, hmm. Right, and now that we're here, we're actually connected to the actual uh, tower region, the Citadel Ruins, but anyway, there is a door on the western side of this, uh, land platform. Blow it out of the way, you'll get your Korok underneath. Right, we're going to avoid the Citadel Ruins for now, we're going to go to the Akala Falls. Here we are, by the Akala Falls, there's the actual fooly bit, Tarry Town is to the right of us right now. And it is a simple throw a rock in the circle. Right, with that done, we're now going to go, yeah, let's do it. We'll go to the peak of this bit right by the shrine. And it is an Apple Offerings Korok. Next we're going north of the Kapora Pass, oh, a nice uh, reference there, it's a tree puzzle. And make them all match. I think this is the same one as the last one as well. Man, yeah it is, it's just exactly the same. That's, I'm being less lazy than the developers right now. Although I guess they had to program 900 Korok, so it makes sense, but still. Same region and everything, can't you have put it on another region so I wouldn't have noticed? Man. Anyway next we're going a tiny bit northeast to this next body of forest. What a, what wording. 
And for this, there is a one to five flower puzzle. Puzzle, trial, I don't know. Hit them one, two, three, four, five, order. As soon as you find the fifth one. The fifth one is up in a nearby tree. Oh, what a good angle. Right, we'll be back here for other reasons that you've probably picked up by now, but otherwise, we're now going to go over to the Akala Citadel and deal with this one on the western side. Alright, here we are on the western side, and there is a pile of leaves for us to disturb, and then lift up a rock underneath. This is, I think, one level down from the top. I mean, there's a, there's a guardian half awake up there that was kind of concerning, but yeah. Right, now that that's done, we'll go to the northern two ones. Now, there's always a general theme with these... Uh, double batched Korok. There's one up high and one down low, so in this case we need to move this door to actually access the Korok. If I can do anything close to that, that'd be helpful. Yeah, no. And there he is. And the other one is directly up above it, behind more leaves. Right, now to the southern portion of the Citadel Ruins. And on the southern section of the Citadel, there are once again cannons, as we saw earlier in the last Korok, and it's underneath a rock nearby him. And just like last time, the next one is a little bit lower down. I'm not sure if it was this low, though. Oh, no, it might have been, because there's a pile of rocks, uh, leaves even. And here it is. Huzzah! Now that that's all done, quite quickly, too, we're now going to go to the Torin Wetlands, west of Tarrytown, if you weren't aware. So this is a nice little view of Akala. You've got the, uh, rift spiral over there, Tarrytown, it's moonlight on the, uh, water, which is a nice attention to detail, and the Korok we're looking for, there's only one in the entire Torin wetlands, because there were two guardians that I guess hide the rest away or something. We want to go to the very top of this little patch of ruins, because there's a rock with the Korok underneath it. Next up, we're going east of Tarrytown on the bridge. Of course it's raining the moment I try and climb to Tarrytown. <laughs> Anyway, if you've done any of the Tarrytown side quest, or at least have watched me do it, you may have noticed this flower here. It's kind of hard to miss. It's going to take us probably down this bridge. I'm playing again still with no sound actually going into my ears, so this is going to be a fun trial for me. Oh no, this wasn't too bad after all. Just right underneath here. Next up, we're going a tiny bit north, still right by Tarrytown. And it is a rock formation. Bada bang, he's gone in a flash. Ain't that creepy. Anyway, the rock is just a tiny bit to the east. Literally just by a bush that you can literally see from the rock formation from where I was. So, just, you'll be alright. Next, we're going just east of the junction to Tarrytown. Right, here we are, right by the ruins, and there is a Korok race taking us right to the top of said ruins. Of course it's raining when this comes up. Oh, this is... Oh. <laughs> Literally, it's rained like three times since this video has started. What is my luck? And I'm out of Rivali's Gale too, so that's fun. Rivali's Gale. Well, I guess you don't actually have to climb it oh, properly. Okay. Yes, you... Why game? I'm not even out of Rivali's Gale, it just wasn't activating? Excuse me? Oh, lightning gave me too much hope. Oh, I have to like dive through it if I want to do this, I think. That's. Oh. Or I could do it first. No, I can't do that. It doesn't work. Oh, I. It can't be done. I can't do it in this rain. This game is so harsh on me sometimes. Why? Stop paragliding. Please. Think. That was just me now. And there's more rain. This rain's not going to stop. Gosh, this game doesn't want me to finish it. It doesn't like me. Uh, uh. Come on! Yes! Oh my god! It's probably not even that hard without the rain, but good lord! Okay, next one is right next to us because it is a flower trial taking us way down the hill. 
it is just past the ruins, and it's going to take us way down. Okay, now that that one's sorted, we're now going to go just a tiny bit east again, because at the bottom of this place is another Korok. It's nice that they're kind of close together. And this is a cube puzzle with the cube. Oh, I have to do more climbing. There we go. At the top of those ruins, of course. Actually, you don't even need to climb. You can just grab it. That works. Next, doing another sweep from the west. We're going just north of the citadel to the Carnalette Canal Ridge. Right here we are, just a little bit right of the main path as it starts curving around. And there are an invisible Veracorok around here. Blah, 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 blah. Now I think I want to do quite a wide spread since there's not actually a lot on this spread otherwise. So we're now going to go just west of, or just by the Shadow Path. Yeah, that works. Shadow Pass. This next one you need to be atop of this tree. What do you know? It's raining again. I'm at the right tree, aren't I? Yes, I am. It just really didn't want to show up, huh? Oh, come on, please. Thank you. Good lord. What a struggle. Next, we're going to make an even wider pass because we're going west of the Ordorak Quarry. And on the western side of this quarry is a nice little uh, cube puzzle. That's it. Right now, we're going back down to the Akala Highlands, just by the Ori Mountain. Right here, we are flying over the Akala Highlands. There is a pile of leaves for us that if we break through, there will be that Korok. Just gotta get there first. Here it is. Nice. That's 300, even though we have way more than 300. I think we have uh, 790 now or something. Anyway, we're now going to go just a little bit east along the highlands because over there is a tree puzzle. Identical to the last apple puzzles we were doing. Uh, that's a real shame that they put the three of the same one in the same region. Maybe they had a specific developer designed for each region, which is why like the Garuda one had really short, short races and we never saw those again. So maybe like there was 13 Korok developers. Oh well, just a theory of mine. A developer theory. Anyway, now we are going, uh, yeah, again to the Ordorak Quarry. Right, and just like the last uh, quarry one, it is another cube puzzle. Just on the southern cliff rather than the western cliff this time. Next, we're going right to the path on this little mound here. And around here is an invisible Korok. Next, we're going to the east of the east, no, west of the East Akala Beach by this dots of trees here. And here is a Korok race. It's going to take us way over there. Next, we're now going to the actual East Akala Bridge, or beach even, but above it. And just down on the cliffs overlooking the rift is another archery test. Right, time for another west to east slide. We're going to do just this, uh, everything below this line, basically. So we're now going west of the rock woods. Also, I'm editing this in later because I actually forgot about it. Don't forget the Korok at the end of the rift. It is just at the very center behind a pile of leaves. Whoops. Do excuse me. Also, get used to this costume in this night time. You may see it at the end of the, the, end of, at the, end of the episode. That's what I'm trying to say. Blah, 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 blah. It got hidden behind the shrine symbol, so if that makes sense. Sorry. Right, the rock, the uh, cork is just underneath a slate, which I just took away without commentating on. Sorry, it's underneath there, on the far west of the rock woods. It's easy to find. So next up, we're gonna go to the center of the rock woods. Actually, no, the next easternmost one is way down here, so we're gonna go there first, and then to the rock woods again. Right here we are, and this is actually a ruins. I was gonna say ruins the area, it just is a ruins. And there is a cube puzzle for us to do. Here's the cube at the top of said ruins. Wow, and that's actually the slot. What a tiny, subtle cube puzzle, I like it. Now we go to Rockwoods. And for this one, you just need to, quite predictably, go to the top of a big tree and get the rock out of it. Presumably, the biggest one in Rockwoods. There you go. 
Right next, we're going east of the rock woods between this and the other block of trees. You can see there's a little rock formation there. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like two piers touching. And again, quite nice and predictably, the Korok is just a balloon underneath one of the cliffs. Slash, I guess, above the other one. Am I shooting? Um, it's because I'm using non-fiery fire arrows. Mm. Right now we're going down just by the north of Kala Valley in another block of forest. Be careful, there is a Lionel in here. Oops. Ah, shoot, he spotted me. Oh, well, maybe he gave for me. He's not bothered anymore. I hope not. Anyway, also predictably, there is a log Korok here. It's not a tree Korok, it's a log Korok in these forests. Right, now we're going way down to the Spring of Power. And just to the west of the Spring of Power, there is a rock underneath it, your Korok. Right, now we're going just a bit east to this both of these clump of trees, really. Right, here we are, and uh, kind of predictably, not entirely, it's a pile of rocks, a uh, pile of leaves this time. Okay, and to the northeast. And this guy is, I guess, another type of forest Korok. It kind of makes sense. It is the flower one to five. And I decided to bring a fire keys with me for some reason. Right, now we're going just east of the shrine to the edge of the stables. Or well, the, the region by the stables. You know what I'm talking about. Me and words aren't the best, okay? And down here is a nice little rock formation for us. And the rock, of course, is by or towards the distance that's missing a spot, if that makes sense. If you've been watching all the other Korok videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. I say it many times over. And now, final part of this line, just down the edge of this cliff. And this is a slightly submerged uh, cube puzzle. That is not a cube. How did I see a cube over there? There it is. It's way out in the water. And there it is. The color looks much nicer when it's not raining or nighttime. Anyway, now that that's done, we're going to do one final loop. It's not going to take long now. We're going back to Ipacala. West, let's say southwest of Skull Lake. Right, here we are, just west of Skull Lake, sort of. And it's a Korok race that's going to take us way up to the cliffs. I have Regali's Gale. She's very helpful. Much easier than that last one. Right, and now we're going to go just north of Skull Lake to this cliff here. And for this, it is just a nice little rock formation, which you get the rock from a nearby northern um, enemy encampment, which we haven't seen since the Elden region, which is right next to Akala. So I'm guessing, like, maybe maybe there's not 13 developers on each of the Korok regions, but maybe, you know, they had the same corner. So it's the same developer that designed this one, because it's basically the same thing. Pretty cool. I like it. My theory clicks in. Or, you know, a developer did the whole thing and had the same idea when he was doing this in a car level. You know, whatever. Even still, let's go and put this in its rock formation place. And boom. Right, now we're going east along the top of the cliff. And this is just a Korok hidden underneath a boulder. Lovely. Goodbye, rock. Or, I guess, boulder. Right, now we're going to delete that, and we're going to go south, just north of the Tempest Gulch. And here you can see from a distance, it is just a slab overlooking the cliff for some reason. How these slabs get here, I have no idea. Are the Koroks putting it there themselves? Because that's an immense amount of strength. Either way, just like the rock or the boulder, blow it out of the way and knock your Korok. Right, now we're going e Yes, we are going east to the Akala Wilds, to both of these clump of trees. So this is probably the hardest game of golf. We are on a nearby hill and we need to get it into a hole over there. The extra hard part, you can see the hole in the distance there. We have a Lionel just about peering over. So uh, I'm going to try and do this without beating him, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah. yeah. Off it flies. And whoa, that's awesomely close. But also, all right, no, it's not going off the edge. So we're okay. Okay. I can probably work with that. We'll see how it goes. Time to speed things up a lot.
thank god. I knew this video was going way too easy on me. Of course, a little bit of rain was not enough. Oh dear. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna go a tiny bit north. You may have seen it in all of that speed up. There is a flower order Korok to do here. I actually ended up breaking... Oh no, I didn't. I didn't end up breaking one of the trees in trying to get the stone in the thing because that didn't happen because I loaded my save. Anyway, time for the final six. We're now going to go west of the Tumlia Heights by this patch of trees here. Now for this Korok, it is once again a pile of leaves surrounded by a bunch of bushes, which is nice. Easy to spot. And now we're going to the east side of the Tumlia Heights. So this region you may remember as you had to do it, you had to come here for the ancient tech lab little opening. There is a Korok race somewhere around here or a flower? Where? I know it starts along here, I just can't find the start. It's definitely on this side of the chasm. There it is. We were, it was just it was where the marker was. I was just way too north. So we are going to start here. It's going to take us to the other land. Provali's Gale is basically your lifesaver here. Though apparently not uh, required since that was way too easy. Interesting. And now they've given us rain and put us way down here. Of course they have. Ugh. Next we're going just north west of the land that the uh, ancient tech lab is on. My marker was a little bit off. We're not actually here. I don't know how I messed that up. We're way down here because there is a bombable rock for us. And underneath that, or behind that, is our core rock. Right, now we're going just west of the ancient tech lab. And right by this pile of dead guardians is our core rock rock. Our core rock rock core rock. Right, next we're going to the very top of the ancient tech lab, just like the one in Hatana Village. I also didn't even realise that Robbie had just like a pile of guardians right outside his place, so that's a pretty nice law building. I don't know, I like it. And right at the sunbed at the top of the place is our Korok. Right, and with that done we've got the final two. We're going to go north of the North Akala Beach on this little part of land here. Right, and down here is uh, one of the final uh, flower orders in the game. And the first one is by that guardian over there. So on the southwesternmost triplopod foot. It's shaped like a triangle thing is what I'm trying to say, the, the land here. Whatever, you know what I mean. Alrighty, and with that it's time for the final, final Korok. Right after I get this ancient screw, thank you. Let's get rid of that. It's in the very top right of Hyrule. Oh, he's even got his own tiny little island. Let's go give him a visit. And for this final guy with a very ominous ending, he is underneath a slab on his own tiny little island in the very corner of Hyrule. As you've done before, use stasis, throw the slab away, and pick him up from under the rocky heights. Must be an introvert. Can I angle this right? No, I can't. It wouldn't give me an angle. Oh well. Okay, and that is all of the Koroks in the entire Akala region completed. We now have every basic side of the place covered in Korok seeds. Look at this. Well, we have them all, I guess. So, next time, we're going finally back to some story. Next time, we are going to the very center of Hyrule. Ganon's reign shall be ending soon. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.